This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so that the videos I put them out, see what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the FUD articles don't stop. You got four or five outlets putting out these crazy articles that because Disney movie Wish was a flop in the box office, that is why AMC stock price is dropping. They're saying that AMC is on track for the worst year in the history of the stock. Now, here's the thing. When AMC has blockbuster movies, the stock price doesn't go up. But they want to blame one Disney problem on AMC price going down. AMC price goes down because of criminality. AMC price goes down because they parked the buy orders. AMC price goes down because they're in the dog pools washing and spoofing. AMC price does not go down because of anything having to do with the market. And why isn't Cinemark regal? Why aren't these movie theater chains mentioned? You know why? Because they are majority owned by the institutions. So they don't bash their own companies. They don't bash their own companies. They bash the companies that they are shorting. And in my opinion, this is market manipulation. They are using the media that they control to bash AMC to manipulate the price. And the fact that AMC had the best quarter in the history history of the company, in the history of the company, yet they're on pace for the worst share price in the history of the company. To any logical thinking person, that is overwhelming evidence of fraud and corruption in the stock. I don't see how the SEC can look at themselves in the mirror and say they police the market and allow this type of fraud and corruption to go on with AMC, DOJ, FBI, CIA, Secret Service. How does a company have the best quarter in the history of the company, yet the share price is doing the worst in the history of the company, and nobody sees a problem with that? That doesn't raise any red flags for anybody. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that it's a little weird that you had the best quarter in the history of the company, but you're having the worst year in the history of the company in stock price? Shouldn't that raise red flags to regulators? <laughs> anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.